Hello everyone, it's Janice here. I am coming on today with a uh, guest design team uh, project for Diamond Dyes. Uh, before I show you that though, I just got a few things to mention. Um, Diamond Dyes has a uh, couple of things going on right now. You know, we have that Father's Day card hop. Uh, that has been going on for a couple weeks now. I believe that that is ending and we are all going to be doing our drawing this weekend. I'm going to be doing my drawing later on today uh, for that. Um, you know, that's where you went around and watched everyone's uh, projects that they made. Uh, their cards, Father's Day cards and other projects. And you could, uh, you know, each each design team member will have a drawing on their channel and um, you could have a chance to win ten dollars off of your purchase at diamond dies okay <laughs> and also the um the new subscriber uh contest is still going on and that is until july 7th and what you do there is if you have a friend that doesn't know about diamond dies you know have them to go over to the youtube uh, channel or the Facebook page and subscribe and let D know that uh, they're you know they're new and who had sent them over there tell you know so and so sent me over to uh, <coughs> to uh, subscribe and I would like to be entered into the new subscriber contest and um, she will be having that drawing you know after July 7th and you have a chance to win a die plus an 8x8 eight eight graphic 45 paper pad good old sport okay and um, also if you do go over to uh, diamond dies to make a purchase let D know that I sent you over uh, by using my coupon code thanks Janice that is all small letters one word and you will receive 10% off of your entire order Plus, if you spend $35 or more, you get free shipping. So, you want to do that. That's what I always do to save on that shipping. Okay, so I guess that's about all I've got to say about all that for now. Um, what I've done is I have, well, I've been interested in starting to art journal for a while now. I've been watching video after video, um, you know, doing some research, uh, you know, I still have a lot to learn, <laughs> but I have started, and that's a good thing. I do believe that art journaling will be really good for me, um, I, you know, just for many reasons, okay? I won't get into all that, but I love it. I love the way that my first page came out. I love what my first page is about. And so, all right. Uh, okay. I have, um, what I've, I've, I've used this die, and that's the clouds die. Uh, I don't have the technical name for it, you know, but it's the clouds die, you know, it's, very very easy to find if you go over to the Diamond Eyes website. You know, and that's www.diamondeyes.com. And um, this is wonderful for mixed media. This is wonderful for all of you uh, art journalers out there. This is a must-have die. Um, and mixed media artist. This is just a wonderful die for that, y'all. I love it. Love, love, love it. I cut this out of um, cardstock and I cut it out of the lightweight chipboard like this. You know, the, the lightweight chipboard. No problem whatsoever. Even these chevron, you know, that's a chevron pattern. Came out with no problem whatsoever. And this die has the raindrops and it has the little hearts that you could put as heart drops, you know, coming out of your clouds. Love it. Okay, and I used some papers from the uh, Crate Paper Flea Market. 
I'll flip through here right quick and see if I can find the papers I used. Maybe, oh yes, I used that paper. Oh, and I used that paper. And then I used another one. That, oh, well, it has little hearts on it like that. Okay, I don't think there's another one of those in here. You know how sometimes you only get one in those. So I used a couple of uh, Prima stamps on my background. I, I tried to, uh, you know, uh, mimic the chevron and the dots. And I used this chevron stencil by Prima. It came out really good. <laughs> also, I used some of this uh, studio paint by Claudine Helmuth. And this is the Paintery Pink. And these are those little jars that we all got it Tuesday morning. I was fortunate fortunate enough to uh, uh, to to run across. Oh, I think I got five. You know, by the time I had made it up there, they were just about gone. Okay, and then my art journal. I just picked this up at Walmart a couple of weeks ago, y'all, because like I said, I've been interested in getting started. So. I am going to share my first page with y'all. <laughs> Very happy with the way it came out. The title of it is On Cloud Nine with Diamond Eyes. Um, and I, you know, I am, uh, this is the, one of the most wonderful things that's happened to me, you know, uh, in a while. Um, I, I'm just thrilled to, uh, to be getting to, uh, guest on the, uh, for diamond dies right now um so i really wanted to what commemorate that you know in some way so this is what i've done well i started out with you know the papers and i uh you know just tore them into different pieces and i put them down with mod podge um I uh, then went in with the paint, and I love that paint because it's a little bit opaque, you know, and um, actually I didn't use a brush to put it on. I put it on with like a squeegee type of thing. You know, you can use a, um, a credit card, whatever, you know, just to smear it on. That was the effect I wanted. I wanted... I, st I wanted my papers to show through still so okay and then um let's see what did i do next then i went in with the stencil and put you know modeling paste down with my stencil here and there let's see and then i went in with the stamps and uh archival ink and put that down and um, and then that's whenever I started putting down my my clouds. Now the clouds are cut cut out out of some uh, you know the cardstock plus the uh, basil. I mean not cardstock the chipboard plus some basil cardstock and it's that bling cardstock. Oh and I use some sprays, y'all. I use these uh, some of these dilution sprays, and I've had these for a long time. You know, I have several colors. You can get these at Hobby Lobby. But anyway, this is the first time I've used these, and I have a lot to learn about these these sprays here. Um, you know, like working how well they might work with Mod Podge or or uh, modeling paste, stencil paste. So. Anyway, just got. I still have a lot to learn, and I know that a lot of it will be, you know, trial and error. But I'll get there. <laughs> I'm real happy with how that how this turned out. I really am. Okay, and my clouds. I sprayed those with some of the blue uh, dilution spray, and even even though it has no shine to it whatsoever, I guess because that cardstock has that bling to it. It came through, and so I just love how that came out. 
really came out great. And um, the numbers on here are from a uh, quick cut, some quick cuts, little little dies. It's called Moxie. And then these uh, letters are from a Sizzix, old Sizzix die set that I have called Playground. And um, and then I used I used some little bling for the eye, to dot the eyes on my words, if you can see it, to mimic uh, how Diamond Dies does theirs on their packaging. See that? How they dot their eyes. <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool to do that. And then down here, I just have G GDT. 2014 just something to uh, oh and I have a butterfly this is a diamond dies butterfly up here from it from a different set it's actually I, it's from this little must haves mini must have set right here which is another great set love it so okay that's my uh my first art journaling entry. <laughs> so y'all let me know what you think. Okay? Get over to Diamond Dyes and get some of those wonderful dyes. Talk to y'all later. Oh, and be sure and be on the lookout for my drawing. Bye-bye, y'all.